Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's video, we are going to be swatching the Sally Henson Instadry Jelly Belly Collection. This is the second jelly bean themed collection they have done. And um, technically it has nine shades, except these three shades are actually from the first collection of Jelly Belly, which I swatched. Um, I'm going to put a menu card up in the corner so you can click on there if you want to see those three colors swatched. Okay, let's get into this. We're starting off with Birthday Cake. This one is such a beautiful polish. The base is a soft blush color, which I just adore, and the glitters inside of it are pastel, which is kind of really perfect for Easter coming up. Not that we're all going anywhere, but um, I have to say, I don't really like these kinds of polishes because the fact that the base has to be so sheer so that you can see the pastel colors makes it hard to make it fully opaque with two coats. And then I struggle trying to make it not look lumpy and it starts to dry because it is an insta-dry formula, it dries quickly. I just get very impatient with it, even if I do like how pretty it is. So if you're one of those people who can just make this thing work for you, I do recommend buying this polish because it is so beautiful to look at. Next is French Vanilla. This one is exclusive to Ulta, which I saw in a comment that they responded to someone's question as to why they couldn't find it. The Sally Henson people responded that it was exclusive. This is actually my favorite jelly bean out of like all of their jelly beans. I love the French Vanilla ones, which I had at a wedding. A friend of mine had them there on their little candy bar and it was really sweet. So I absolutely love this polish. I love the idea of the white with little black glitters underneath. I do wish I was able to compare the polishes to the jelly beans like I did with the last collection, but I couldn't find the ones I needed online. And unfortunately, obviously because of the COVID virus going around, uh, people are staying home and I have asthma, so I need to be extra vigilant. The next one we have here is Jewel Very Cherry. So they did a Very Cherry in the last collection, but this one has a jewel tone and a sort of shift to a blue from a pink i think um it's not my cup of tea it reminds me of a bubble gum ball i got from a machine once i don't know if you guys ever remember they because they had like the plain bubble gum balls but then they had these ones that had like iridescence to them and i remember when i bit into it it was really gross and i think it was because of what they had to use to make it look this way so it just kind of reminds me of that and i'm like ew no i don't like it Here we have Jewel Bubblegum. I do like the shade of pink. However, I just don't like the pearlized finish. I've said this before, there's something about it that I don't like. And I also don't enjoy the fact that when you run the brush through it, it makes these lines with the pearlescent in it. And it's kind of annoying, but I do see the value in this color. I really think this would be a beautiful bridal shade. Or maybe if you have a little girl who's going to be a flower girl in a wedding, this soft pink nail would look adorable on a little girl. I did want to take a second to say that even though the price is, say, $5.59, that's the ultra price. Target's price online is actually $3.99, so you can get them there cheaper. This is Pina Colada. This is the yellow in the collection. And honestly, I don't see Pina Colada when I see this. I see banana. This is a banana yellow color. <laughs> Although I do understand that the Jelly Belly people can only make them certain colors because they have other beans that are different flavors with a similar color. So they have to make them different shades so that it's distinguishable with their little cheat guide on the back of the package. It is a really fun yellow though. And I have a cousin who would love this cause she's just like a yellow fiend. Here we come to the last in the collection. This is cotton candy and it's my favorite. It is the perfect blend of pink and coral. It's, you look at it, you're like, oh, it's coral. But then you look at it again and you're like, no, it's absolutely pink. No way it's coral. But it's both, and I love it. It's so beautiful. It's actually the one I'm wearing now. I always leave my favorite to the end of the video so that I can just paint my nails and then leave it and not have to remove it because I'm not doing any more swatches. So it's the one I'll be wearing until I do my nails again. Ugh, it's so smooth and beautiful after two coats. I am in love. So that's it for the most recent release of the Sally Henson and Jelly Belly nail polish. 
If you're interested in seeing the three that are still technically part of this collection but first came out with the last set of Jelly Bellies, I will go ahead and link that video down in the description box. I'm not sure why they re-released these with this set. They didn't change them or add shimmer or anything. They're still the same, but who knows why. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you're all doing really well and safe out there, okay?